In this video, we will look at how to use the DC sweep feature in PSPICE. Suppose we are interested in how the voltage at this node in the circuit varies as the independent voltage source magnitude is varied or how the voltage at this node is varied when the current source magnitude is varied. This simulation result can be easily obtained using the DC sweep feature. We can proceed as follows. First, go to Analysis, Setup. The bias point detail option is always enabled by default and this gives the DC voltages and current values. Enable DC sweep and click this option. This opens the DC sweep menu which can be used to configure the DC sweep simulation. So suppose we are interested in sweeping the value of the independent voltage source. So we select the voltage source option. We next we need to tell PSPICE which voltage source to sweep. So this voltage source has part name V1. So this is written here. And then we need to indicate the start and value and increment. So suppose we are interested in a start value of minus 10 volts an end value of 60 volts using a step size of 10 volts. So click OK and close and click Save. Next, we need to place a voltage marker at the node of interest. In this case, we can place a voltage or a current marker. Let's place a voltage marker here and right click to make it go away. Next, simulate. This opens the simulation result. Here we have a plot of the magnitude of the voltage source from minus 10 volts to 60 volts. And on the Y axis is the node voltage of interest. We can read these values by enabling the cursor. And now by holding the left click button and dragging across this curve, we can move the cursor and read the values. Please note that the cursor A2 is by default placed on the left, left hand side and if you need to move it, you need to hold the right click button and then drag and this moves the second cursor. But for this example, we can leave it at its default spot. So this shows how we can use the DC sweep feature and sweep for a voltage source magnitude. Let's see how we can sweep for a current source magnitude. So in this case, we go to analysis, setup, DC sweep. Now we need to do a current source sweep and the current source part name is I1. Suppose we want to sweep from zero volt amps to 10 amps with an increment of 1 amp. So click OK, close and save. Now when we click simulate, we can see that on the x-axis we have the current source magnitude and this plot gives the node voltage and how it varies with the current source magnitude. We can also look at currents in the circuit. For instance, if I delete the voltage marker and place a current marker, suppose we are interested in this current, current markers in PSPICE can only be placed at the ends of the components. So I place the current marker here. Now we are sweeping for the current source magnitude and we are interested in this current here. So simulating gives the result. So we can see how the current is varying when the current source magnitude is swept. PSPICE also allows us to sweep for resistor values. In this case, we must use the global parameter option in the DC sweep menu and the simulation must be modified as follows. So the first step is Suppose we are interested in sweeping the value of resistor R1. 
then we set its value as r underscore val enclosed in parentheses. It is essential that we enclose the value in parentheses as follows. The next step is to go to draw, get new part, and use the param parameter. So place and close and right click to make it go away. Double click this. Here, enter name as r underscore val. So this corresponds to the value that we entered here. Click save attribute. And let's give it the default value of five ohm. Save attribute. Next, go to change display and select both name and value. Click OK and OK. So this gives us the parameters that we configured. Now we are ready to configure the DC sweep menu. So go to analysis, setup, DC sweep, select global parameter and indicate the value here. So the part name is rval and suppose we want to sweep for 1 ohm to 10 ohm with an in 1 ohm to 100 ohm with an increment of 10 ohm. So click OK, close and save. And suppose we are interested in the node voltage. So place a node voltage marker here. And now when we simulate, we can obtain the voltage at the node of interest as the value of the resistor is varied from uh, the range that is indicated. So this is a very important feature in uh, PSPICE, which, uh, and, and this shows how we can sweep for the value of uh, any given resistor in the circuit. It is also possible to run nested sweeps in PSPICE. This can be done as follows. Go to Analysis, Setup, DC sweep. Here we are running the main sweep as the value of resistor R1 from 1 to 100 ohm. Go to nested sweep and now we can configure the nested sweep parameter. Suppose we are wanting to sweep the voltage source V1 from 50 to 100 volts with an increment of 25 volts. So this will give us three uh, values of V1. So select Enable Nested Sweep, click OK, Close, and then Save. And now when we simulate, we get the nested sweep results. So for instance, this plot is showing how the node voltage varies as a function of resistor R1 for different values of voltage source V1. So this shows how we can use nested sweep feature in PSPICE.